Welcome back to part two. Kaylee and her sisters down by the river. And on this video, we are going to explore a new beach and we find some bones. So make sure you watch till the end to see what treasures we come up with. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of our videos in the future. if I've ever seen any. You want to get on? Are you okay? Why don't you get on? No? Okay. I'll show you it 
runs into a very large tree. That fell, <coughs> and we can't get through it or around it. It's just that large. more wet than usual. Eve. She must have been hot. She usually doesn't even get her feet wet unless you put her feet in. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> oh, this feels so good. Oh, I love it.
beautiful down here today. He's going off to go hunt. skull down here. Actually two of them. It's an old tractor that was buried. This used to all be underwater, all of this. Just recently the drought this surfaced. You can see the wheel. Anyway, yeah, and then I found a buffalo skull right in here. And then um, another family member found one right over in here. And there's been, we found lots of bones and different things like that, but not a full, well, we found two almost full skulls. So that was pretty cool. But we're thinking a long time ago, Buffalo used to run through here. There's all kinds of arrowheads and different things like that to find. After a good flood, it stirs everything up and then when it goes back down, <clears throat> everything's just fresh, it's washed clean stirred it all up. So anyway, we we're thinking that the buffalo used to come through here and um, it either got trampled, that's how they died right here, there's a bunch of them that died, or they drowned or something. I don't know what happened, but yeah. So I'm sure there's a lot more in here. It's just trying to find them the layers of the years of the ground. And it's neat when you find stuff like that because it's all history. Sad thing is that it's eating away at the shoreline. So you can see that that's all new this year. Crowding it away. That's why, if you can see way down there, I don't, I think it was the government that came in and put a whole bunch of rocks and stuff over there to help with the shoreline. Just trying to keep it from just eroding everything out. See, like, for instance, right here. That's probably a deer bone, but it could be buffalo too. Or not deer, um, a cow. Or it could be buffalo. Find that stuff all over the place. Nope, oh, there's another one. What is that? I don't know, it could be a piece of wood. Sometimes it's hard to tell when they're so petrified, the bones. What is that? But that piece. Oh, I'm gonna get my feet muddy. I don't like that. wood. You just never know what you're going to find out here. Eve. Eve. Really? Some twin. You're going to have to go in the water now. Oh my goodness. Look at your arms. Look at your legs. Eve. 
girl. Come on, let's go to the river. Look at you. <laughs> Little piggy. Come on. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Good girl. Okay, rinse it off. Hey, really? Eve, come on, I hate to do this to you. Okay, go in a little bit further. Get that mud off. They prove you to be a liar. You say one thing, kids are that way too. And you say one thing that happens 99% of the time and they decide to change it up. And you look like a fool. Oh, there's another bone. Oh, this one is really old. My son used to, well actually both of them, used to find, well I used to say they're dinosaur bones, but bones from cows or I don't know, whatever. And they used to just stick them up here and collect them. And my littlest one used to always want to bring them home. I used to have a pile of them, but I didn't see it. Oh, there's one there. And that. You see there. And that. So, wow. all kinds of stuff. <laughs>